Art Challenge with Miss Halliday. Hi everyone, it's Miss Halliday here. Today our art challenge is going to be to draw a tiger. And I wanted you to research a little bit about facts. But some that I found were that tigers are actually good swimmers. There are six different types of tigers and tigers are the largest wild cats. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to draw a Siberian tiger. You're going to need paper, and I'm using my easel in my sketchbook, but for you, drawing flat will probably be easiest. And for now, you just need a pencil and an eraser. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie so you can see better. And remember that don't have to follow me exactly. I like it when you're creative and you think of your own ideas and you make something a bit different. Okay, so here we go. The first step for making the tiger, I'm gonna create the shape of its head. So I'm gonna start up here and make a curve for its ears, come around for its head, and then create the other ear. For the face, I'm gonna make it a little bit jagged because the tiger's fur is around its face. So it looks a little bit like zigzag jagged and it's coming down lower than you think for all its fur and then coming up and connecting. The next, the next thing I'm gonna create is inside the ears, I'm gonna make a little bit of a an extra triangular shape. If you don't want to place that inside, you can leave it out. And then I'm going to, with my fingers, kind of place where I think the tiger's eye looks right for their eyes. And tiger's eyes are fairly small and kind of slanted at an angle. So about here looks right in they're not really far apart. So about there looks right for me. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start with a line at the end and then come up and down and come around and connect. Inside the eye, I'm going to create a circular shape. And with my Sharpie, you can do this later with a marker or Sharpie or whatever material you're deciding. I'm leaving a little bit of white space so it gives it that pop. Next, I'm going to create the other eye coming up, down into that line, and then coming around, making the circular shape at the top, and then filling in but leaving some of the white for the pop. And depending where you leave the white, it can make the tiger look like it's looking in a certain direction. Okay, then I'm going to create the shape of the head that is up a little bit more above, like that. For its nose, you're gonna have two lines coming down like this and then make a curve like an upside down heart that comes down, up, down, up, and around. And then for the actual nose, it's like a squished heart coming around like that. And below the nose shape, it comes around and down, and then same on the other side, around and down. Tigers have whiskers. To make the whiskers, try to be loose with your hand, not making them stick straight. So 
So like four or five should be good. And then there's dots here. Like that. Below for the math area, you can just make a curve. If you wanna have the tiger's teeth coming out, you can make the teeth, but I'm gonna leave them out for this. And next, I'm gonna make the body of the tiger. If you wanna just do the head, that's fine. If you want to make the body different than I'm making it, go for it. But I'm going to come downward on either side. And for the legs, come up, but not all the way up. You don't want to come up too high. And then I'm going to start filling in the stripes for the tiger. So I'm going to aim for symmetrical what I'm making on one side. I'm going to try to make on the other side, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best. Then there's going to be a shape here. And two curves in the middle near the eyes. And underneath the eye. Near stripes can be however you want. And then on the body, I'm gonna have a longer stripe here. And one going up this way. Some smaller ones. And it's okay for things to go off the page. Then on the legs, I'm gonna add a couple. Like that. So this gives you a lot of options for what materials you could use to fill this in with. Um, you could choose filling them with Sharpie for the stripes. You could use crayons for filling in. If you have paint, you could make it a paint project of watercolor or acrylic paint or temper paints. And you could even choose to do ripped paper to make it more of a collage if you wanted to. So we also have this background that's open and I like you to place your tiger in an, in an environment that is your choice. So you get to decide where you're gonna place your tiger and create that background for your tiger. I wanna show you a finished one that I worked on and I used my crayons and I didn't just use one shade of orange. I was using deeper orange. I was using an orange yellow and multiple shades to create this effect. If you look at pictures of tigers, um, you can see how they have the white areas and this one is the Siberian tiger. So you could look at a few pictures. Your tiger though does not have to be the orange and white. It could be rainbow. It could be blue and purple. You can create your tiger however you decide you want it to be. And in my background, I did the stars and the moon and I did some color pops that I decided on. So do some research and think creatively and do your best on your tiger. Until next time, see ya. Bye.